Hello and welcome. It's time for me to play Siren Head, based on a creature by Trevor Henderson. Let's go. As you might notice if you know the game already, I changed a few things. I removed a certain pixely filter and I increased the frame rate to 60 frames. It was actually forced to be 30. Which is smart, because this kind of frame rate just makes you physically sick a little bit. At least to me. And I think to others as well. It just gives you a little bit of discomfort. And this game is all about discomfort, or this genre, really. The Horror Walking Simulator. Let's read. Pine, ridge, hiking trail, no vehicles allowed. A hiker was reported missing. I was sent here to take a look around for them. Hopefully they're not hurt. We're gonna look at everything that can be interacted with. Forest Service, Kepler, WV. That's what's actually written there. Maybe there's something interesting written on the tires, but I doubt it. My old Forest Service truck. I really should get it washed. Yep, yep, yep. Everything is so HD. It kind of ruins the mood, but at least you've seen it once. Now I really enjoy this scene. Is that a warning siren? Where could that be coming from? I love how you see Siren Head lurking through the trees. There. Keep going, buddy. Keep oh, I can see his foot going through the tree there. Was that it? I guess he's stuck. Oh well. Really nice how this game builds atmosphere right from the start. It's a backpack, maybe it belongs to a missing hiker, but why leave it behind? And the sun going down real quick, that is pretty cool too. I just love how fast this game works. Scratch marks, these weren't made by any animal I know of. A scrap of a shirt looks like that was a struggle. Alright, I don't think we missed anything yet. So there's one more thing here. More strange scratch marks. Can we... I don't think looking at the sun does anything. Okay, and even more scratch marks. These scratches seem to lead up here. I do wonder, maybe we could find a place to hide from the eventual monster eventually. Maybe not. I certainly like the... 60 frame rate being enabled. I noticed it when I actually recorded this video footage of this vi game already and I was about to edit it and I was really confused by why is it six, uh, 30 frames even though I recorded at 60. So annoying. So I figured out it's a game. Okay, so this thing has multiple um, distance information or clue. Clue, clue, clue triggers. So what the hell is that? I should take a closer look. That's not number one. Okay. Could that be? And there's a little gap of nothing. Could that be? And there's no interaction with this piece of clothing. And looking at this directly does nothing. And uh, I don't know what this... What the heck? Stop moving. Yeah. Should be a piece of brain, I suppose. Alright, let's uh, do this real quick. So you have to figure out that you have to right-click. Could that be... Um, so let's do that real quick. And there it is. Uh, I have to get back to the truck now. But what you might not know is you can actually touch this buddy. Hello! Hello! You can just ride up, walk up to him and tag him. Hey! I'm gonna go. Wow! Wow! Really nice sound. I gotta say, to me this voice is rather soothing and not that scary. Which I like. <laughs> I'm bad at horror games. You can find out by watching me play others, other horror games. We're just gonna get out of here because that's a thing. Oh, you can actually read the, the sign now. Right, so now we're out. I don't know what that scream is about. Alright, and we are out of here. Let's just listen to how the end sounds. Did we make it? Yes, yes, that was very close, I believe. Now let's do this one more time, but a bit differently. 
the first thing we really want to do is uh, get to know this, this friend of ours. Hello, friend. How are you doing uh, up there? How's the weather up there? Huh? Could your weather siren inform me of that information? Hey, buddy. He hello. 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 Excuse me? Okay, I guess uh, there is some kind of on trigger enter trigger rather than on trigger something. Did I? No, there we go. Yeah, what? Dude, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, buddy, come on, come on. Are you my NPC now? All right, let's let's go questing. Let's go on adventures. All right, you follow me, right? Yes. Come join me. Oh, Siren Head is my friend. We're gonna go and grind some XP together. Man, this... I can also push... Can I push him around? Not quite. Well, let's see if this actually keeps on going. What was that? That was a cool sound. All right. Uh... Shotgun, you drive. Oh, there we go. Now he's giving me a hug. I don't know what, what fixed him, but... Yep. And that's how this ending works. Now there's another kind of ending, kind of... Do we, do we really want to call it a secret? I don't think so, but this is another thing that we can do. Just by spawning uh, our friend again. Hello. And then being a bit slow. Just taking our time. Leading him to our car. Waiting for him to be a bit closer. And now we're we're gonna pretend like we're driving away. But uh, yeah, I don't know if this is intentional. I kind of doubt it. But if we're slow enough, he's gonna get us, even though the car is driving around, according to the sound. Kinda cool. Now let's take some in-depth looks at this game. The road leads to nowhere. The first siren head is placed between these two 2D tree lines. There are actually three siren head models in the game, this one not being used, and these ones being separate into animated and not animated. The hand of this model got some special care, and these teeth are floating in the air for some reason. And the birds flying upwards are actually a particle system. Here we are. They're not even animated, but that's fine. And do you know what the real name of Siren Head is? It's the Honker. Ah, it's fine, give me a hug. He's made a little dance.